Welcome to Blueprints Unsealed, a series of reflections and thought depicting the life and times of society's most influential people, ideas, and culture. Some say that ignorance is bliss. It comes from the sentiment that worrying can really take a toll on a person, and therefore concerns about the future can sometimes be overshadowed by the fear of the unknown. Make no mistake, from our perspective, the future does look bleak but probably not for the reasons you think. You see, when you consider parts of a system, there is an understanding that from time to time, things will break down and will need to be replaced. But what if those parts are never replaced? Or perhaps they are substituted with inferior quality. The effects of this can easily be seen on a small scale, but on a macro level, things become complicated. Unfortunately, there are just too many things wrong within the system that have been neglected for far too long, and it's only a matter of time before the house of cards comes crashing down. The foundation of every profession relies on the skill set of the individuals. To learn a skill, it takes years of hard work and mental focus. To master a skill, it requires a lifetime of continuous improvement and refinement of your craft. Unfortunately, it seems that our society is not ready or willing for that type of commitment, and this effect can be seen across the board. In fact, each year the number of lawsuits filed against incompetent professionals has grown. Experts suggest that at least 1 out of 20 patients are misdiagnosed by a doctor. However, some argue that the rate is much higher, because many misdiagnoses is rarely discovered. In fact, Studies have shown an alarming rate of misdiagnosed symptoms that were detected late, including lymphoma, breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, and skin cancer. The sad part is that a person's chance of recovery is significantly reduced the longer it lingers in the body. When it comes to flying, experts say that at least 80% of major accidents are caused by pilot error. What about the banking institutions? How safe is your money? In recent years, there has been numerous banking errors caused by tellers, including depositing checks into the wrong bank account or mishandling client-sensitive information, which has resulted in financial turmoil for many people. However, a significant finding indicates that there are way too many incompetent managers, which leads to a lack of proper oversight. Some attributes may include the inability to make a decision, they always place in blame on others, they tend to manage everything through rules, they don't share information, they don't like to give credit, and they only focus on the negative. Value is the cornerstone of civilization. It determines how people will spend their time or money in return for good or services. For example, we perform services for our jobs in return for a paycheck, and subsequently we exchange our money for things we want and need. So here's what's interesting. In terms of worth, it's fairly simple to see how value is associated with the services we perform, or even for the products we buy. However, what is the actual value of currency? In other words, what does it cost the government to mint or print money? Consider this. It costs the government around $11 to produce a single nickel or quarter, while it costs close to $3 to produce a single penny. Clearly, there's a disconnect between what the coin is worth on the market versus the underlying cost to produce the coin. Again, this shows that the materials used to produce the coin coupled with the labor hours has derived its value from a cost approach, while at the same time, the market value associated with the coin appears arbitrary. This may seem insignificant until you realize that the world economy works off the same premise. Back in 1933, the U.S. followed Britain's decision that gold would no longer back their currency. Instead, the U.S. decided that the American currency will be backed by the full fate and credit of the U.S. government. But what does all of this actually mean? The truth is, it can mean anything. And basically, the monetary system is not really based on anything substantive. The irony is that the banking system is also based on the same principle. With trillions of dollars that flows through the economy, how can we be sure the amount of money that banks claim are in the system actually exists? Today, we rely heavily on artificial intelligence and computer programming to do much of the hard lifting. 
that we would have a hard time doing. But well, who's to say that the programming can't be compromised? After all, it will be virtually impossible to ascertain every factual transaction that takes place. The fact that the monetary system is faith-based is very strange indeed. Rather than a system that relies on objective principle, the rise of Bitcoin and other types of cryptocurrency may someday overtake state-sponsored money. And while this may sound like a good opportunity for many people to become wealthy, it seems that the cryptocurrency market is highly volatile and it may cause more harm than good for the majority of the people who choose to invest in this market. Let's face it, there's been instances where people have created their own cryptocurrency as a practical joke, only to have that same currency valued over billions of dollars. But what do you make of all of this? The American infrastructure is in a state of decay, and it's only a matter of time before we begin to realize the extent of neglect that plagues this nation. Many people may be familiar with the Flint, Michigan water crisis that took place between 2014 and 2019. Essentially, this was a tale about how greed and corruption endangered the health and well-being of thousands of citizens when government officials allowed lead and other toxic chemicals into the town's water drinking supply. The effects of lead inside a human body has been well studied and documented. As you can imagine, it creates a horrible condition in the body, and it can last a person's entire life. However, as bad as the events were that took place in Flint, Michigan, a study conducted in 2016 found that nearly 3,000 areas in the United States with lead contamination rates at least double those in Flint. The number one problem is that the pipes that transfers water from the main reservoir to people's homes are badly decayed. In fact, the last time that many of these states had their water pipes redone or built was during the early stages of Roosevelt's New Deal, which took place around 88 years ago. With the recent Florida building collapse, it strikes a chord in each and every one of us. It reminds us of how vulnerable we truly are. However, we may later come to learn that this event could have possibly been preventable. In fact, a news source has reported that incidents of worn-out structural components of the building were brought to the attention of the board and management in 2015. But we must wait to hear the official story of what happened. Nonetheless, Civil engineers has been conducting the effects of sinkholes in the major U.S. cities for years, and they found that Florida and California are most prone to sinkhole erosions. According to the government, these places are being carefully monitored, and that the recent building collapse in Florida was a unique situation, and such event is not expected in the near future. But who knows? I think that with all the ills that plague society, the one thing that we desperately need but seldomly receive is inspiration. The concept of hard work is often overshadowed by resentment and a feeling of underappreciation. The truth is, the vast majority of people find it hard to stay motivated, especially when it seems like those who put in the least amount of effort always seems to win. On the other hand, for those who continue to put forward their best efforts are rarely celebrated, but to the contrary, we work to exhaustion, we don't get to enjoy time with family and friends, and we are at a high risk of dying young. Research shows that millennials are most disadvantaged when it comes to the workforce, since the approach to career goals are centered on old ideas that are no longer relevant, but perpetuated by lies from the generation that precedes us. Millennials are inundated with the highest percentage of student debt and no real prospects of fulfilling career and work-life balance. Unfortunately, if you happen to reach the age of retirement, there's a big chance that social security would no longer exist. Unless something changes, it doesn't look good. But there's an upside. For the generation that succeeds us millennials, there's hope. For they were able to see the downfalls that plagued our generation, and they are more adamant about not giving in to the illusion. At first, this will cause tension between the two generations, but our fates has always intertwined, which is why it is crucial for us to work together. 
because our survival and future depends on it. Thanks for watching. Please consider supporting the channel by hitting the like button and subscribing.